Today I'll be reciting uh, Romans 8, um, English Standard Version. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do by sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. He condemned the sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirements of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, um, it cannot. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. In fact, the spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is life because of righteousness. If the spirit of him who raised um, Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies who dwells in you. So then, brothers, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But by the Spirit, you will put to death the deeds of the body you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but have received the spirit spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry abba father the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of god um, and and children then heirs heirs of god and fellow heirs of christ provided we suffer with him that um, in order that we may also be glorified with him for i consider the sufferings of this present time are not worth um, comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. If the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God, for the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because he subjected it in hope that the creation itself will be set free from the bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of glory um, as children of um, of children of God, of children of God, um, for in this hope, oh, for the, for we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the creation of the Spirit, grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for the adoption as sons the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes for what he sees? For if you, but if you hope for what you do not see, you will wait for it with patience. Likewise, the Spirit helps us with our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought. The Spirit himself intercedes with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches hearts knows what is in the mind of the Spirit. The, the, spirit, the spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. Um, for though, and, f and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for the good. For those who who are called according to his purpose. Um, for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined them to be conformed to the image of his image of his son, that he might be the firstborn of many brothers. Um, and those whom he um, predestined, he call he also called, and those whom he called he justified, and those whom he justified, he also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? 
He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Who can bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, um, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, and, it, and who is indeed interceding for us. Um, who, can sep- who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? Um, at, as, it is, as it is written for your sake, we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, we are more... We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Um, For I am sure that neither death nor life, uh, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, um, nor, nor nor power, nor heights, nor depths, um, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord.